So this should be a quick one. It is a smart switch by a company called Digisync. And I've talked with this guy a few times over the years online on the Valkyrie Writers Forum. Decided to give this one a try. So the idea is real simple. You unplug the usual connector from your headlamp. You put this right in the middle and that lets you bypass um, some of the other circuits along the way, making your headlight brighter and uh, I'll get into that a little bit more but this here is the piece that uh, connects to your battery pulse I'm gonna run it underneath my gas tank and it pokes through a little hole in the back of that headlamp housing and uh, right into this device so what's the advantage here um, along the path in that circuit you've got your uh, your horn your starter switch, your turn signals, and maybe some other things too. All of those smaller circuits end up stealing some of the current away from your headlamp. But other than that, those smaller devices can't handle the current that your headlamp is constantly drawing. So over time, they end up failing for quite a few riders. This should fix that. Now the weatherman tells me it's going to start raining in about an hour, but I don't really want to take this bike down into my usual workshop down in the basement. So I'm going to run out there, try and get this done in five, 10 minutes, and I'll see you out at the bike. All right, I may have spoke too soon. It was dry a few minutes ago, but now already, by the time I get outside, it's already started to rain, so I may I'll get back to this, but let me just show you what I'm going to do here. There's a screw here on this side. There's an identical screw on the other side of the headlamp. Take those out and the shell opens up and all of the wiring is exposed. And uh, I would say it would take five to ten minutes to actually get this thing installed. So. I may go ahead and get it done anyway. Uh, either way, I'll be back with uh, those screws removed and we'll look inside the shell. Okay, so uh, as I described, I went ahead and removed those two screws and the shell just opens right up. And there we see the inner workings. So um, I'll just unplug the headlight. I think that's, I'll take a look at the, uh, assembly there but I think I just unplugged that plug the little uh, assembly I was showing you earlier in between there one side here one side actually on the headlamp and um, after that I'll just close this up I'll run the cabling and I think I'm all done and we'll give this thing a test okay so this isn't <laughs> turning out like I envisioned because the rain is really picking up here so I may uh, table the rest of this for a little later or until I can get inside but uh, you can see here I just plugged the blue side into the back of my actual headlamp I plugged uh, the black end into uh, the plug that used to go into the back of the headlamp so I just stuck this in the middle and now I got this red connector and that'll run back to my battery once I plug it into here. And I just uh, stuck this stuck this plug in from the back. Uh, there is space there in the back of this shell. And um, I just push that on through. So I'll plug in this to that. Uh, connect the other end to my battery and just screw everything back together and that's it. You can see this is just taking a few minutes here. So um, I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. Okay, two tests here. First of all, does my starter switch turn the bike over a little bit easier, a little bit quicker? Uh, not so sure. The other thing is, is my headlight a little bit brighter now? And I 
Now that's going to be hard to tell here because my phone um, compensates, but the answer is yes. Definitely brighter. All right, this is Leonardo at LeonardoSlins.com. Thanks for watching.